You won't believe what I found. I went to Walgreens. God, it's so bright. It's been so sunny and like really warm here. I'm so white, I really need a tan. So I don't know if you guys remember um, my unboxing video. Here, let me set this down. Okay, so I don't know if you guys remember my unboxing video I did with my sister. And we unboxed like little miniature surprise toys. So we've been trying to find the little littles. I think that's what it's called. The real littles, the real little. So they're like miniature, just miniature things, like miniature ice creams, miniature shampoos, like just little things, right? Well, my sister Snapchatted me the other day and was like, look what I found at CVS. So she found the little miniature things that we were trying to find. So I was like, I need to go check a CVS or a Walgreens to see if they have them. So I found them. They came in this box. Yes, yeah, so you're gonna get 16 items. And I bought one, two, three, Four of these, four of these. If there's 16 in one, so that's 16 times four. 64 of these little miniature. So this one was already shown like outside of the box, so it wasn't packaged. It's a little juice, and then here is the, it's a little glass. Oh my God, really? So it's the little glass, it has a little face, so the juice is in there. It's a little juice pitcher. And in here you have the rest of them. So I told, oh my God, look at it. So I told my sister if I get multiples, she can have the other one. Twinkle Toe Skechers by Skecher. Oh my God, it's a little shoe box. You guys can see. And then inside the shoe box, I think it's a pair of shoes. How adorable. So it has a little face. So with these, it's pretty cool because you get a little real little. This sounds funny. A little. You get a real little and then you get a Shopkins. So the Shopkins has a little face on each item. Mac and cheese. So if you open it, oh my God, this is exciting. Oh my God, it's, it's, it's adorable. It's a spoon with mac and cheese. A little spoon. Oh my gosh. And then it goes in here and then you close it. <gasps> Rice Krispie Treats. I am in love with these. How cute. Rice Krispies. <laughs> Pop-Tart. Brown sugar cinnamon Pop-Tart. The Pop-Tart. I like it because it's like squishy in some of the parts. Pop-Tart. Oh my God, look. Nutri-Grain, 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 Nutri-Grain. What do I think, Nutri-Grain? Granola bars. How cute. She has a little tongue. So cute. We got cherry. Cute, cute. Oh my gosh. We got hot dogs. He brewed national beef franks. How cute. So this one, can you, oh you could open it. It's gonna be a hot dog. Oh my God, I already see it. It's adorable. Oh my God. And it's squishy, look it. Look, and you can take it off. So you get the sausage, you get the hot dog, and then the bread. Oh my gosh, this is adorable. Now I can see why my sister's obsessed with these. These are so cute. Get back in here. This one's Crunch and Munch. Buttery toffee. Oh, popcorn. Buttery toffee, I've never heard of that flavor. This is adorable. It's just super cute. And it has like the nutrition box. Super cute. It's a popcorn. And it has two kernels on the side. It's a popcorn with the kernels on top. So cute. This is so cute. So adorable. So that was all of them in this package. They're so cute. Okay, so I just unwrapped all of them and I did find some already like multiples of the same one. But I wanted to show you guys this. So this comes in the package and it tells you um, which ones are common, rare, ultra rare, special edition, and limited edition. Um, so I was looking through it and there's only three limited edition ones mm -hmm. and I already saw that I have one which is pretty cool. The one I got is Pringles, the original kind and if you open it, you get the little Pringles. Isn't that cute? So that's really cute. So we got Marie Callender's Chicken Pot Pie. Super cute. How cute. It's a little chicken pot pie. Isn't that adorable? 
beautiful, so cute. I like how they have the little tongue, super cute. Another Rice Krispie Treats, but this is the birthday cake kind. Super cute, right? So this is just like the other one, but this one has little sprinkles on it because it's the birthday cake one. Super cute. Then we have your Swiss Miss Chocolate Milk. So cute. Oh my goodness, the little hot cocoa. How cute. This one's cute, I love this one. Super cute, I love hot chocolate. So the next one is Cheez-Its. This one's cute. Cheez-Its crackers. Ooh, it's sparkly. Can you guys see the sparkles on it? Super cute. Oh my God, you know what's good with Cheez-Its? Um, hot Cheetos. Mix them together, good combination. Oh my gosh, they have my favorite cereal. Super cute. It's like so detailed, I love it. How cute. Oh my, cereal in a bag. How cute, and it like moves inside. Why are these so cute? That is so cute. I love it. So we got strawberry jelly or jam, whatever you want to call it. How cute, another spoon. So it's a little spoon. I could show you the spoon with some jelly on it. How cute, super cute. Here we have another Skechers. So this one says light. I like how it's a little box. And then you get another little shoe. This one's cute. Designed in LA, wow. Next we have waffles. <laughs> How cute, super cute. Another Murray's calendar, but this one is Dutch apple pie. So we have a chicken pot pie and now we have a Dutch apple pie. Right here it says the flavor right there. Dutch apple pie. Oh, this one's cute. It's like a slice of pie. So it has the whipped cream on the top. And then if I bring it this way, it's like a slice of pie. How cute, super cute. 100% juice, white grape cherry. Oh, this one's cute, it has a little straw. Cute, look at the little straw, super cute. So it's a cup and it has the juice inside. It's so cute. I have another Pop-Tarts, but this one is cherry flavor. It's a little, it's already bitten, super cute. The pasta sauce, traditional kind. So cute. The little tomato on the top. Okay, and then last but not least is spaghetti and meatballs. This one's cute. It has the spoon with the spaghetti and the meatball on the top. So cute. Look at it. Super cute. That was all of them. Um, super, super cute. I'm gonna probably start looking for them so I can collect all of them. We did get a couple uh, rare ones and then just the common ones and then the limited edition. So yeah, we did get a few rare ones, which is pretty cool. Super cute. So 10, I got multiples of, so I'm gonna give that to my sister. If she has them, then I'll give it to somebody else. But she said if she doesn't have them, to give them to her, so. Oh my God, I still have this on. I just came home and I forgot I was wearing a mask. Yeah, it's kind of funny because uh, it says, I don't know if you guys can see, it says Christmas and chill. So I just got home. Sometimes I forget that I'm wearing it. All right, guys, so today is Friday, finally, and it's a three-day weekend. I just got home. Um, I went out with some friends. We did social distancing happy hour. We ordered some pizza and a margarita, and we had it outside of the restaurant. Um, it was low-key, and we put our drinks in our cups. But it was nice, it was nice to go out and kind of hang out with a few friends. We still did the social distancing and whatnot. When you see this video, it's gonna be Sunday. I will be in California. I do have a three day weekend. It is Memorial weekend. And I am flying home tomorrow. I haven't been on a plane since, well, since all of this has started. So it's been since March that I've been on a plane. I'm not too worried. So I'm gonna have my mask. I'm not gonna wear this one, I have another one. And yeah, I'm excited to be home. It's gonna be sunny and warm. Oh my God, I can't wait. I am hoping I can get some color because I am so white. Um, so hopefully I can get a little tan. All right, so you already know I am like all over TikTok. I haven't posted a video. Um, I posted one last week, but it wasn't like anything crazy. But anyways, my sister showed me this TikTok and this TikTok shows you how to make a masa pan. Okay, so if you guys remember, if you guys saw my masa pan video, um, where I tried a whole bunch of masa pans from Mexico. So I actually have the original one, which is right here. This is the original masa pan. Here's how it looks. 
This TikTok that my sister showed me is how you make them, okay? And this lady made this big mazapan. So today we are going to make a big mazapan. It's super easy. All you need is peanuts and powdered sugar. That's it. So we are going to attempt to make this. It's gonna be quick. All you have to do is blend it and mix it together and you have a mazapan. This is the little beauty that we're gonna make, but in a big size. So this little thing is gonna be this big. So yeah, dude, if I make a big mazapan, oh my God, that's gonna be insane. So we're gonna make mazapan. All right, so I was at work today and I was supposed to print out a paper of this, but I forgot. So I ended up drawing it. So this is my art. I actually drew this right now. Um, and no, I am not an artist. I actually copied this from my laptop. I literally put the paper and I traced it because I am not an artist. So yeah, but I think it's still pretty good. Oh my God, and the crazy part, so I was just realizing, this sweater that I'm wearing, I wore it on my Masapan video, and I didn't plan this, okay? So I just decided to wear this today, and it happens to be when I wanna make a big Masapan, and I wore this on my Masapan video, so I don't know, what a coincidence, right? No? Okay. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. It's actually one of my favorite videos, so go check it out. I'll put the link down in the description. But yeah, I was wearing the same thing, and my hair was straight, so it was not planned. This was not planned, I just decided to wear this. Didn't even think I was gonna make this video today, but we're gonna go ahead and make it. Okay, so basically you need powdered sugar and peanuts. And the ratio is one cup of peanuts, one cup of powdered sugar. And you just blend it all together and voila. I'm gonna do like three to four cups because we're gonna make a big one. Okay, so we're gonna start with the peanuts. We're gonna blend, mix, crush, whatever you wanna call it. Um, but you're gonna get a cup. We're gonna do one cup at a time. what we have so that's three cups and now we're gonna add the powdered sugar one cup at a time okay so I'm kind of shaking it because it got stuck at the bottom so I want to mix it really good okay. okay it's not mixing in my ninja so I'm gonna bring out my kitchen Okay, I brought out my KitchenAid because the Ninja was not mixing well, so we're gonna pour it in here and mix it. Okay, so we just need one more cup of powdered sugar and then that's it. Okay, the powdered sugar went everywhere. So I'm just kind of mixing it with the spoon here. So I'm just gonna try a little bit. You know what? It kind of does taste like it. I think we can add a little bit of more powdered sugar. It tastes like a masapan. It's missing a little hint of something, but it's pretty close. I swear, when I mixed that last powdered sugar, it went everywhere. So after you put your clear wrap, you're going to get your piece of paper and base it down. Okay, after you put it in there, you're just gonna, I'm gonna use this to kind of push it down. Make it a little stiff. Now we're going to cover it. Oh my God, look. I should have done a longer clear wrap. Actually, no, I think we got this. So what I'm gonna do, I don't know what I'm gonna do actually. How the hell am I gonna do this? All right, I had to redo the clear wrap because it was too short. I had to make a longer one. I put another clear wrap and I pounded it and I covered it. So now we're gonna flip it over and is it gonna come out? Well, the cool thing about this pan, I can in it. Why does this happen to me? Okay, we're gonna try that again. Oh my god, everything is just going wrong. This is the most simplest thing you could ever make and it's just not going so well. I put it in another pan and we're just gonna flip it over and see what happens. OMG. Okay, so it's not like perfect, but can you guys see? Oh my god. This is a big muscle bun. Look at it. I think this is a pretty good job. Oh my god, it's it's cracking. Um, we failed at that. So you got the little one, and then you got the big one. Oh my god. I don't want to drop it. Compared to this little one, 
this is literally the pan is I think nine inches so this is a nine inch masa bun we can add something to it so it can be more like stiff I'm wondering if you can add water okay so I'm gonna try the original and I'm gonna try not to crack it see this is how you open a masa bun you get this perfect masa bun <laughs> this one is a lot better it's a little more sweeter so I don't know if we need to add more powdered sugar or maybe add some sugar, I don't know. But not gonna lie, it's actually pretty close. Oh my God, you guys, I, I'm i done. I am so done with this video. I can't. <laughs> I tried to move the masa pan back into its pan. <sighs> look what happened, just, just look. I was trying to move the masa pan that was here to here and this is what happened. And I just finished cleaning and now I have to clean more and oh man. All right, so this was supposed to be super easy and quick and yeah, that's not happening. Look at these glasses, oh my God. They're so glary. Is that even a word, glary? Like there's so much glare, does that even make sense? My sister gave me these, they're so dirty and scratched. Oh my gosh, I didn't realize how scratched they were. No, they were my sister's and I was like, can I have them? I don't know, they kind of make me look smart, don't you think? All right guys, I am gonna close out today's video. I was really hoping this masa pan was gonna be like 100% perfect and it just did not turn out 100% perfect. It's okay though, I think it, it came out pretty close. You know, the, the taste was pretty close, stiffness was pretty close, but yeah, it just wasn't 100%. Again, when you see this, I will be in California. Unless you watch my videos like a week later, then I won't be in California. I'll be here in Washington. Um, yeah. All right, guys, like always, don't forget to hit that like button, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you in next week's video. Peace.